back to another look at chemistry in the movies. I'm Kevin. And I'm Josh. Today we'll be taking a look into the movie National Treasure. The specific scene we want to take a look at involves the lead character lifting fingerprints off of a wine glass. Let's take a look. What, here, why don't you let me take that so you can take that off his hands. Thank you. Uh, a toast, yeah? To high treason. That's what these men were committing when they signed the declaration. Let's start by first looking at how fingerprints are formed. Fingerprints are made up of skin ridges or friction ridges that have unique pattern formations. Examiners are able to evaluate and compare the flow of ridges, the relationship between ridge endings, and other details to make an identification. Now let's look closer at some of the details we just saw in this clip. First, the champagne glass was placed into the bag. Second, a cotton ball was added to the bag, but only after liquid was added to it. Since the movie only shows us a brown bottle with no label, we weren't sure what was being added. After doing some research, we discovered that it is most likely sodium hydroxide, but we'll get back to that in a bit. The last thing we saw was crazy glue squeezed into the bag before it was sealed. Within a matter of movie seconds, the fingerprints appear. Now let's look to see if these results are possible to recreate or if they were fictionalized for the movie. Using common items around the house, we can easily lift fingerprints. To provide humidity, he is adding water to the paper towel. He created a foil boat to contain the cotton pad so he can add super glue. He then adds the microscope slide with his fingerprints on it. The final step is to add sodium hydroxide to the cotton pad containing super glue, where it will act as a chemical accelerant. After about five minutes, he removes the slide and you can see the visible fingerprints. The primary component of latent fingerprints is ordinary sweat. Sweat is mostly water and will dry after a short period of time. Latent fingerprints are composed of several chemicals that are secreted through the pores in the fingertips and are left on virtually every object touched. The other components are organic compounds like amino acids, glucose, lactic acid, and inorganic chemicals like potassium, sodium, and chlorine. Latent prints can be found on a variety of surfaces. However, they are not readily visible and detection often requires the use of fingerprint powders, chemical reagents, or alternate light sources. As you can see, it is possible to lift a fingerprint in a short amount of time if you have the right supplies in hand. We feel that the movie makers did a good job with the chemistry in this scene, and we hope that you enjoyed our look into one method of lifting fingerprints. And now back to the movie. Welcome back to another look at chemistry in the movies. I'm Kevin. And, and I'm Josh. <laughs> Today we'll be looking Wait. <laughs> That was like a little rehearsal. I didn't know that was. <laughs> Welcome back to another look at chemistry in the movies. I'm Kevin. Do I need to keep going? <laughs> Welcome back. It's me, George. <laughs> <laughs> when you did the real introduction, you didn't do the finger. Was I supposed to do the finger? I don't know. It was cute. Should I do it? Yeah. Duh. Do it with the finger. Yeah. Do it with the finger. That was <laughs> Give me the finger. <laughs> Oh, until the boundary boundary said, she is. <laughs> off with some she yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is possible to lift a finger plant. Finger plant. Finger plant. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. As you see, it is possible to lift. I don't know how actors do this. Mm -hmm. Right? 